and it's another shocking child murder and another huge set of huge questions for local authorities. Little Logan Mwangi was just five years old and already living with his violent stepfather when social services allowed his highly dangerous stepbrother to join the family. 14-year-old Craig Mulligan has been described as pure evil by his foster family and had threatened to kill Logan already, yet still he was allowed to move in and just five days later Logan was beaten to death, suffering a staggering 56 injuries before his body was then dumped in a river near his home in South Wales. Well, as his mother and stepfather were sentenced today, a judge took the very unusual move of lifting Craig Mulligan's automatic anonymity because of his young age, and Mulligan himself was jailed for 15 years. Well, joining me now in the studio is Talk TV correspondent Amelia Harper. Amelia, a horrific story, really, that we just didn't think could get any worse. Absolutely, Tom, an absolutely tragic case of not only uh, child murder but neglect in the run-up to his death as well. We've heard today that the 14-year-old has been named as Craig Mulligan, but it's very unusual because children in criminal cases are not normally named in this way, but the judge today at Cardiff Crown Court waived his right to anonymity. He's been given a life sentence alongside Logan's biological mother, 31-year-old Anne Harrod Williamson, and also stepfather, 40-year-old John Cole. Now, just to give you an idea of who Craig Mulligan, the teenager, actually was, he was the stepchild of the two parents. What happened, though, in this case, Tom? Well, Logan's body was found in the River Ogmore in Bridgend. He was found just 250 metres from his home. He was found in dinosaur and Spider-Man pyjamas. Let's have a listen to some CCTV from the day that he died. Uh, if he's unconscious, he needs me. He needs he warm needs clothes. He needs mum. He needs his blankets. Blankets. OK. I feel so useless, Dad. I know. It's all my fault. The the judge described his injuries as catastrophic and they said that they were similar to someone who had fallen from a great height, Tom, or someone who'd been in a car accident. Now, of course, this is going to have a huge impact on uh, Logan's biological father, Ben Mwangi. He stood next to police outside court as they read out a statement. It is incomprehensible that Logan had his life cut short in such tragic circumstances at the hands of those very people who should have been there to protect him. For Logan's father, Ben, who stands beside me, today's sentences are welcome news. However, no amount of justice can bring Logan back or compensate for the grief that continues to be felt. And, Tom, it's not just this, but his parents, you know, tried to hide the fact that they were responsible for his death, looking at that CCTV footage there of his mother trying to pretend that she had no involvement in this. But just to quickly look at this teenager, Craig Mulligan, he was 13 at the time, really, really tragic stuff here. He was described as a monster in court, a foster, a foster family who had been with him previously. They had said that he had made repeated threats to kill kill them. In another instance of his mannerisms, if you like, he had said to two girls, let's get involved in a murder game involving bin bags. The girls would have had to get into bin bags, Tom. Now, what's next? Well, a social services investigation is underway now. Amelia, horrific story. Thank you very much for reporting on that.